this video, I'm going to show you two ways to scrape local business leads from Google Maps so you can use them for outreach, cold emails, cold calls or whatever you want. I've sent thousands of cold emails to local businesses and built websites for many of them so I know how important it is to start with a clean, reliable list. The first method I'll show you works right inside your Chrome browser. The second method uses an N8M scraper that I have built and I'll walk you through that step by step so you can automate the whole thing. By the end, you will know exactly how to find and collect local business leads from Google Maps without paying for expensive tools. By the way, a portion of this video is sponsored by Airlift. More about it later, but let's start with the method one. Open up Google Maps. In the search bar, type the kind of business that you're looking for and the exact place. For example, type plumber in Austin, Texas or coffee shop in Brooklyn, New York. The key is to keep it very specific. If you just type like plumber or coffee shop, Google will only show you a small batch of random results. When you add the city, you get the complete list of that area. So say you start with plumber in Austin. Once you've scrapped that list, you can move on to plumber in Round Rock or plumber in Cedar Park. That's how you cover nearby areas and collect way more leads instead of missing hundreds of businesses. Now to actually pull the data, you'll use a free Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper. You can grab it straight from Google Web Store. Once you've installed it, go back to your Google Maps tab and click on extension. You'll see it automatically starts picking up the business listings on the left names, addresses, phone numbers and websites. Sometimes it takes a little time to load each page, so set a small delay, maybe three to five seconds just to be safe. You'll watch it collect the first page, move to the next and keep going until it's done. If it freezes or skips a page, just refresh Google Maps and start it again. It's free, so it's not flawless, but it works surprisingly well. When it finishes, click download CSV Open that file in Google Sheets and you'll see rows of businesses with all their details. Clean up the sheet by removing duplicates and sorting by city or area. If there's a phone number, just write call. If there's a website, write email. That way you instantly know how to reach out to each business instead of staring at a list of names. This free method is easy and reliable, but it's a little manual. You'll need to repeat it for each city you want to target. Still, it's one of the simplest methods to build your first lead list without paying for any tools. Let's move on to the method two. This one's a bit more advanced, but way more powerful. It uses an N8N workflow, and I have left the link to the template below so you can copy it right away. Here's what it does. The workflow connects to a Google Sheet that has two tabs. One tab is called Searches, where I add things like plumber in Boston or dentist in Miami. The workflow then takes each of these searches, scrapes the business listings from Google Maps, pulls out the websites, visit each one of them, and finds any email addresses it can. All of those emails get saved neatly into the second tab called emails. You end up with a constantly updating list of leads that you can use for cold emails or any campaign that you want to run. What's nice about this is that it's fully automated. Once it's set up, you don't have to keep clicking through pages or downloading CSVs manually. You can even schedule it to run every week or your lead list keeps growing on its own. Now, if you're someone who builds or sells WordPress websites, you really need to think about how you're keeping them fast. That's why we built this free speed optimization plugin called Airlift. It instantly takes your page speed score to over 90. Just install it and watch your site load instantly. I've linked it below if you want to try it out. And if you want to learn how to build a scraper manually from scratch, I've made a separate video that walks you through the whole setup. So go check it out next.